everything we've been taught is a lie slash backwards everything is backwards it's on both screens without further ado let's get straight into the video Science we've been presented with the education we've been given the history we've been given and quite literally everything we've been told by this system is a lie all of it and okay you see he said all of it and it's true every last drip of information you've heard is a lie you have to unlearn relearn some people have to learn how to learn and some people learn from others but we can start here um let's start from the basics okay at birth you're given a name a race and a religion you're given a name a race and a religion and you will become your name that's important. It's very important. You ever notice everyone look like they name or embody everything that correlate with that? But yeah, you will become your name. And your name is a word. And the smaller building blocks that make up of your name is the letters. And every letter converts and transfer over to a number. Like A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. When you get into numerology and all that. So it's important. Make sure if you watching this video whatever else and you and you know now that you be careful how you choose to name your child so yeah you're given a name race and religion for instance mine will be cameron walker i don't identify as cam I, I don't again my mom she ain't know any better or whatever and me i feel some type of way about it simply because again words it's a word and the smaller building blocks of that is letters. And every letter equates to a number. And you will become your name. And Cameron Walk, Cameron is it's female's name. That Americanized European name or whatever. That in itself I have a disdain for it. I come from... <sighs> pyramids. All kind of things that defies explanation. And I know my ancestors ain't have no name like that. Cameron... And then Walker, it ain't like I get some kind of stipend or some kind of percentage of equity at Walker's funeral home. I don't get shit from them. And I'm pretty sure that name will trace back to a plantation or whatever. So why would I go by this name, Cameron Walker? I don't go by it. Um, okay, race. I will never let a classless group of people classify me as such being black. And they keep changing your name. You keep changing your race or whatever. And my hoodie is black. I'm not black. I'm closer to gold or copper. Um, yeah, they call you black, and that's that's on purpose, cause it entraps you in a judicial system when you're in courts and you don't know what to say. On top of when you say that, it have a power as well that manifests and actualizes and materializes as well. And by default, what we think when we hear black, okay, the bad guy, you can't be. I'm talking about aside from what they perceptionalize your people to be. And a light that isn't in favor of you to where people got their preconceived notions of you due to how they depicted you and how they advertised you to the mass majority. And people pick up on it and they perceive it to be the way they intended them to see it. Outside of being a basketball player or a rapper, what's the negatives? They scary, dangerous, robbers and all that. Ain't no bigger robber than you colonizing motherfuckers. Y'all the biggest robbers, thieves and everything. Again, everything is a lie. Down to you saying we all the same. We ain't all the same. One thing we do have in common is our bodies are containers, right? And then it's the energy that inhabits your body. And some souls are older than other, older than others. Has cycles here. Some is they first ride. But um, the biology book. When you look at the standardized bio, biology bi biology book, that's the bio, biology of a Caucasian male. And it's relevant. It's not the same. I don't have that 98% naturally violent chimpanzee that composed of my genetic composition. I don't have fruit flies, zebra, muskrat, and none of that weird shit. May have antigens on the blood due to what your forefathers did. Rape and all that. Is that anything to be proud? So. Single cell organism. But it all makes sense too when I look at the biology and I know I don't have that. But yet they try to collectivize us all. Is that a word? It's going to be now. 
as if we all know it, it it makes sense everything i've ever seen starting off from all the documentaries of even the numerology of the of their birthdays of the most serial killers and what race was they mostly and their conditions and where they come from and it all makes sense why some things I don't understand therefore I stand under it I understand as well your genealogy is directly connected to your psychological state why you see groups of people out here do animalistic nasty weird Rome like shit you know how some people that swooped around and showed them hygiene and all that but before in Rome they was walking in their own excrement and all that terrible it makes sense I see it all. I ain't gonna act like I don't see that shit I ain't ducking no tacos so yeah, I see I see we amongst the aliens and you think aliens fake as well. Bitch, some of the aliens is right here by us. Name, race, and religion. So yeah, you're you're not black if you're indigenous or aboriginal. Your skin literally not black and your history isn't black. You show a group of people how to be cleansed. You gave them so many so many things. You ain't have to do that shit. You could have sent their ass back to whatever they was at. You're the good guy. You're the white race for real, which is the, that will be the eighth color basically, right? Now it's all the colors combined. So you got the seven colors and the chakras, the spectrum, the rainbow as well, and then Christ conscious. You calling them in. Do you see any of them operating on Christ conscious? Man, they benefiting off of the spoils of war. They enjoying the convenience of your ignorance. They got you with your afterlife, bro. A lot of y'all, you ain't going nowhere. You're going into spectator mode indefinitely. You're going to roam Earth forever with the Gentiles and the Archons. You gave your power up to some external source. They got you with that. They got you with this life and afterlife. So name, race, and religion. And yeah, I would be lying if I was to say I wasn't religious upon a time. But I got to give myself the benefit of the doubt and show myself some leniency. All you know is what you program. And it's clearly I was alive, but yeah, growing up, I was indoctrinated with that early on. It never resonated with me, just like school never resonated with me. I mean, it's some bullshit. But yeah, and then when I got, let's rewind it back. I got to show myself some leniency because I was a kid. And that's all I thought I knew because I seen everybody else doing this. And God, Jesus, on top of him being Caucasian as well. You grew up as a kid, your favorite cartoons, Ed, Ed, Eddie, all that, they all Caucasian, okay? Go up, um, animate, they all Caucasian, probably they all. At the end of the day, the Holy Grail, God and Jesus, they Caucasian, so you sub that fuck with you, whether you aware of it or not, consciously as well as subconsciously. And then you believe, like, I ain't shit, or if you don't believe that I ain't shit in comparison to white people, and they're not white, just like you're not black, everything is backwards. You don't want to show them to be hygienical. Re reverse it, everything is backwards. And they history consists of black when I cut the TV off. Void of color, lifeless, no regard for life, just sniping deers, quick scoping deers for sport, for the hell of it. Um, yeah, so I got that shit out the way. Yeah, I had to show myself some leniency. I was a kid. My brain wasn't fully developed. Your brain ain't fully developed until the age of 25 on this Gregorian calendar. Take it a step further. Even then, I was eating BS, man. This FDA approved standardized American diet that's poison that killed my grandma earlier than she should have left. So chemically imbalanced epigenetic trauma. The curriculum in school from John D's Rockefeller Warlords curriculum say one a nation of workers, obedient slaves, pretty much. All that shit go against you. <sighs> um so I got a name, race and religion out the way. We can continue now. And the depths of this lie is quite literally so profound and so all pervasive that it's almost impossible for most people to even see because it is quite literally so big that it covers virtually every single aspect of our lives. Virtually everything we've been told about everything is backwards. Everything. If you Caucasian, you're not white. You aren't the eighth color. What's all of the colors combined? But it will be, yeah. You you aren't the Christ conscious. You're the furthest thing from that, buddy. Even if I look past your past and give you some leniency dealing with the present, you know what the gift is? Reflecting the past. We can project the future based off of that. 
you just as guilty if you living and enjoying the spoils of war. If you got the money to go, go so-called die in a $400,000 underwater submarine, and then everybody to try to invent something or to help literally Mother Earth and everyone else, they get uninstalled. That's their fault, too, for not putting the truth in the infinite domain. They trying to patent things and become multi-billionaires. They're never going to let you take multi-billions out their pocket to put it in your pocket. They're, they're, they're going to get a bunch of bad guy John Wicks and pay them all however much to get rid of you. That's why I always put emphasis on as well. If you can help it instead of donating to stupid ass streamers that's sitting on the ass with swamp ass ain't teaching you nothing. Invest that money in yourself. Really, truly invest in yourself. Start over. Learn how to learn. Unlearn and relearn. Strive to be your Denzel self from the Book of Eli if you've seen that movie. If you haven't, you're James Bond self. If you haven't seen James Bond, you're John Wick, Keanu Reeves self. To what you competent, capable, and sharp. We all would agree that we would love if our father was like a a John Wick, someone that's capable and he can handle it. And you know he coming. He coming through. And it can't, you can't be a good guy and be a coward. Because if then someone got your loved ones for, for hostage or whatever, you're you scared. You're going to be a coward. And you're going to abandon them. And then they're going to get held for ransom and then tortured. So you, we need people to be on the same accord and to be same accord and be warriors. Be on the same vibration and frequency. If one go, we all go. Um, yeah, we all would agree, right? That we would love for our father to be someone that's very competent, capable, sharp, have all his life skills, like superhero like. So why not do your best to embody that so you can be that for your future pretentious children if you want to have children? That's how I look at it. I know I would want mine to be that, but I ain't have it at all. So if I have a son in the future, if I'm fortunate enough to do that, I'm going to be, I'm going to embody that wholeheartedly so I can be that. And I'm going to teach him the same thing. Well, he's going to be the same thing for his son, just more advanced and better and pick the future mother of his children based off as if he was the son he's having. I want to give my son the best shot at life. I don't, you may think all oh, this shallow, if she ugly or skill one to 10, she, if I'm not, no, I don't want my kid to have them insecurities and little doubts and some shit I had growing. I don't, none of that. I'm going to. Everything matters. If you got asthma, application burn. That will not compose if my future kid's genetic composition is recessive. It's a detriment. He getting a squabble. He he tired. He got to take a breath of the... Nah, fuck no. I'm going to get my kids the best shot at life. I'll rip as the kid. He's going to know how to work the guns, assemble and assemble, clean them with a blindfold on a few seconds. He's going to know if he somehow in a trunk, God forbid, he can count this shit and he know where he at or can be very accurate. He's going to know some, I'm, I'm going to have tripwire, buddy. You come to my steps and try to be a, a a pirate, a porch pirate. You're going to trip over Invisalign, motherfucker. And I'm going to roll out the bed with a shotgun. And a couple bouncing Bettys. But yeah, we all would agree about that, right? Whether you a female or a male. Like you know somebody dependent and coming. Let's continue though. I don't want to make this a joke, so I shouldn't be cracking no jokes. I'm going to cover some topics on the show today that will probably seem very esoteric and right out of left field for people, but it's just stuff that needs to be addressed. It's just stuff that I want to talk about. It's important at the beginning of the discussion to lay the groundwork that is needed to even begin thinking about these things, and that groundwork is the clear understanding that everything we've been told is a lie. All of it. Our history, who we are, where we come from, our religions, our food, our medicine, what this world is. Your government know that the populace, the consensus, they know y'all so retarded. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. I don't know if I can use that. They know y'all so... <sighs> your brain sitting in a cortisol and cow's milk. That's all we're going to say. They know you're, you're, you're so slow that they can put the word history, every word, the building blocks of a word is letters, and every letter convert into a number. They put it right there. It's, you break it up into two syllables. His story. It's a story told by the, well, they ain't even the victors yet. They did what they did for now. But yeah, it's it's literally in your face. All of it is a lie. Christopher Columbus, bum ass, ain't find nothing. And we need to snipe him and his descendants. Slow bearing fruit doesn't fall too far from the same tree. One thing I do agree with when it comes to your hol holios, biblios, your Bible, your biology book is that you will suffer of your father's doings. 
If your father had a kid and he wasn't around, you suffered from his doings. He never came back after he got the milk. If your mom, it goes for the mother as well. And all your family trees come back, which make up of you today. Your body is composed of over 150 trillion cells, and your cells are cells. That's why the words are like that as well. And you still got this epigenetic trauma. You got antigens on your blood. You, you fucked up. Let's continue. Quite literally, everything is everything. a lie. You're you're not white, buddy. Just know that your skin literally not white. If we being technical, my skin literally not black. If we not being technical, fuck that. With common sense and looking, you're not white, and I ain't black. And if we looking past the past and giving you some leniency, just going off your present, and we can project where you're headed. You're headed to 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 to, to nowhere, buddy. You're not white. And you're not going to get me to call you that. That shit is out. I'm not calling you the good guy, Superman, Christ conscious. You don't operate on Christ conscious. I think you're incapable of achieving Christ conscious. Let's continue. That's why it's so difficult to ever really discover the truth and to wake up the people around us because all of the information that we're even researching, most of it, has been falsified. That is why people are constantly locked into different belief systems, why they continue to argue with each other, and why they continue to perpetuate their divide and conquer programming. Because in everything that they're looking at and all the information that they've got, they never even factor in the reality that in any investigation into the past, which is invariably where we look to find out what happened and what brought us to this point, most of the information that we glean from old books about historical figures has been doctored, rearranged, and rewritten. Oh, to all of you that had high GPAs in school, you just retained the information. That's it. A bunch of lies. Therefore, you're, you're stupid, buddy. You, you like your brain sitting in milk. If you was valid, Victorian is valid. You're stupid, Victorian. Flawless victory. Just know that. If you indigenous and aboriginal, neuromelanated being, and you're jabbed, may your ass get jabbed IRL, because you're you one of those. I can't show you no leniency. We in 2024, we really not, but we are, because it's a collective. The whole populace agrees that it's 2024. So I'll let the Taurus, the energy, the biofield, the manifestation power is faster, is bigger. It's renowned. It engulfs us all. So therefore, it is. Because we believe it to be as a collective. Um, yeah, just so you know that. Oh, I was a bit valid Victorian. Oh, I got two master's degrees. I'm pretty sure I can make you look like a... I don't see no inanimate object. I can make you look like something, for sure, without that being my intent. You got your master's degree from your, your slave master? Yeah. Everything was a lie. Mother. <laughs> and in some cases, it's actually even doubtful that many of these people even actually existed. In many cases, works were attributed to people who didn't do those works. In many cases, discoveries were most likely attributed to people who never made those discoveries. I did not expect that. Here you go, Christopher Columbus in this compass. I come past his descendants. I'm a Tadatsu. I'm, I unlocked my third Timoy two winter solstice ago. So when my last, my last loved ones go, that's most dear and precious to my heart, I will unlock my my third Timoy Biaku, not Biakugan, Renegon. I'm just going to get more strong. I'm just going to get more powerful. Let's continue. Many events were simply fabricated and many people simply did not do what we were told they did. And as I said, in the case of many of them, it's doubtful that they ever even existed. Or if they did exist, it very often was not when we were told they existed. And very often the information they presented was doctored to fit the current version of reality. Though very often, no doubt, there were little gems left in there just to keep the people guessing and just to keep the people fighting and arguing and squabbling and looking for the deeper meaning. Science we've been presented. 
Yeah, the Wooly Lynch letter is still into play the divide and conquer because the small percentage they is in cahoots with each other, and that's one of their pats. It's loyalty amongst their brotherhood. They on the same accord, but they got disagreements or whatever, but they never let that break their bond because they know that unity is important. So they unify amongst each other and you divide it. Me personally, I ain't arguing with no NPC, GTA, pedestrian, beta, cuck, sim, NCO. Want to know another lie? They say every man is born equal. You got midgets. You can go and get a midget and, and have God, Allah, Akbar, Yahshua, and Floyd Mayweather train him. I'm going to whoop his ass with one arm. It's just how it is. Some some guys ugly as fuck. Me, I ain't got to do much, and I can get any female I want. It ain't equal. Some people got phenomelanin. Some people got neuromelanin. Low fertility rates. Inflamed the brains. Melanoma. Suntan lotion. I don't need none of that shit. And it is. It is. It's relevant. How you may. Oh, your body just a container that your energy. Your energy is in your body. I got more data and storage in my vessel. Just know that. By default, I'm going to kick your ass. I don't know why you boxers be feeling so, so mad when you get a Crawford or somebody up at in there to whoop you at. What do you look like losing it to the prototype of he the original? That's disgusting. His ancestors will be rolling in their graves. Um, yes, a lot of people that think giants is fake as well and aliens. You bitch, you are the alien. I see your history. I see you in a. I see what you'll do at LA Fitness. You're playing grab ass with tell you, 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 you stink. Everything you do, I see it. Nah, them motherfuckers are aliens. You can't tell me no different. Then when you look into Michael Bradley and the Iceman Inheritance. One time I was in the gym. I was just letting this guy talk. This guy stole my energy by talking to me. He just wanted to be around me so bad. And you know he was one of those. He wasn't neuromelanated. He wasn't indigenous aboriginal. I bow. Every since that point, I will never let it happen again. Guy stole my energy. My biofield, my tour is really bigger than he is by far. I will never let that happen again. But y'all the aliens. So a lot of people tend to think, oh... Just know the most accurate is the Chinese zodiac sign with the different animals, the rooster, the monkeys, and you, some of you poop put asses tend to think the own. It got all the real species, but you think only one on that calendar is fake, being a dragon. And just know you can't think of nothing that doesn't already exist. You can have the highest of highs IQ. You is not finna draw or say anything that doesn't exist already. Get the fuck out of here. What do you think the Yu-Gi-Oh car is inspired off of? What else? Did I cover everything I wanted to say? What you think? It's my imaginary friend over there. Damn, I hope I ain't leave nothing out. This is all for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park and Caillou. Caillou. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. Because you know it'd be a lot of you NPCs in the comment section saying things. Just know every man ain't born equal. That's a lie right there. We're not born equal. I'm better than you, literally. If you in the comment section, you can be stargazing, sun gazing, moon gazing. You can be doing anything and you in a comment section with some hate. I'm better than you, bitch. Use a peon. A European. European. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, man. I'm out.